The specialized women and neonatal hospital Mulago was envisioned as a center of excellence for the treatment of maternal and neonatal health issues. Commissioned in 2018, the hospital has been offering this specialized service to female patients referred from other hospitals across the country over the last four years. We have what is called maternal fetal medicine that deals with looking after women right through pregnancy, childbirth and after delivery. Then we have urogynecology, where a range of services are offered. One of the common services that people know is fistula, but it's more than fistula. We have gyn oncology that deals with cancers or malignancies related to the female reproductive tract. Then we have reproductive medicine that deals with issues related to getting pregnant and staying pregnant. Dr. Susan Obori, a consultant urogynecologist at the hospital, explains some of the maternal complications that women suffer from that she deals with from time to time. Our field of speciality is urogynecology, which in simple terms refers to uh, pro prob problems that women face related to, their, to the urinary and the genital system, the birth canal and the urinary system. According to Dr. Obore, these complications arise due to a number of factors. And these problems usually occur following childbirth. Women during delivery may get tears. Uh, we also deal with those who have injury, I mean who are born with abnormalities down in the birth canal. Doctors at the hospital point out that these maternal complications can sometimes lead to mental illness or in the emotional trauma that arises from them. This is why the hospital also offers psychological treatment alongside the physical treatment. And that normally is hand, handled by us, the doctors, briefly, but there are also people who are trained properly, the counsellors, who handle this, this, this part of their what, the emotional and uh, social issues. In line with its name, the hospital has established itself as a center of neonatal treatment and services. Dr. Anita Tumwebaze, who heads this unit, revealed some of the services on offer in her unit. So this includes babies who are born prematurely, the premature babies. It includes babies who are born at the right time but have other complications, they have breathing problems, or they may have uh, what we call like congenital anomalies, diseases which they are born with. And thus they need special attention, they need extra care, and they need like immediate attention when they are born. Because the specialized women's hospital is primarily a referral hospital, Dr. Enoch Chisegirwa, a supervisor at the hospital, explained where some of the referrals are made from. We receive a lot of mothers from Kawimpe. You have a ward for referral mothers, but that is a MFA, antenatal, MFA, postnatal. And then we also have those ones who are having complications, but they are not yet due for, for delivery. We spoke to one of these patients, Daphne Ainembabazi, a young lady who was referred to the hospital with a urinary tract condition from Nakasongola. Being a referral case, and Mbabazi is not paying for her treatment. But not all patients are getting free treatment. Dr. Tsegirwa also categorized the classes of treatment on offer. A normal delivery uh, on gold goes for um, one million. A normal delivery on, on platinum will go for two M. And then if this is going to be operation delivery, on silver, if you are to deliver by Caesar, it is 1.3 million. Many women's advocates have charged the government to improve on quality health care for women as they are the mothers of the country. Ahead of the International Women's Day, the hospital authorities say they are committed to offering the kind of quality care needed by women. I think we have the most specialists as far as reproductive health care is concerned in Uganda. And they are well trained. They are well trained, they are available. Even at night when a woman gets, get, needs a service, there's a specialist that is available to attend to them.